When we see the crucifix, we notice the four letters I N R I. It means in Latin Asus Nazarene Rex Jews, Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. And that brings us to the feast that we celebrate today on the final Sunday of the liturgical calendar, the feast of Christ the King. Jesus Christ is not only the King of the Jews, as Pilate wrote on the crucifix, on the cross, but he is the King of Kings. And I say it for two reasons, because for what he did. Secondly, because of who he is. People sometimes call gold as the king of metals. And that's because gold is thought to be the most precious of all metals as children we also have learned that lion is the king of the forest that is because lion is considered to be the noblest of all animals and as we have grown into youth michael jackson was called the king of the pop that is because he is considered as the most talented in the world of music and we also know Shah Rukh Khan is called as the King Khan because of his talent in acting in other words the word King designates the best there is in a certain area in a similar way, we call Jesus the king of the human race, for Jesus is the best, the noblest human being ever lived on this earth. The same is expressed by Saint Paul when he says, Christ is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. Yes, my dear friends, Jesus is the King of Kings because of who he is. He is the image of the invisible God. He is the firstborn of all creation, of all creatures. This brings us to the second point of what he did. In April 1865, the slain body of President Abraham Lincoln was laid down for the people to see at Oyo in States. And in the line of people, there was a black woman with a little boy, her son. When the two reached the President's body, the woman lifted up her little son and said to him, Child, look, look, take a long look at this man. He died for you. Yes, my dear friends, what that black woman, the mother told to her son, can be told by every mother, every Christian mother to their child, pointing at the crucifix. Look, look at this man. He died for you and me. 
Yes, this is true, my dear friends. Jesus, the King of Kings, not only because of who he is, the Son of Invisible God, the first person of all creatures, but also for what he did. We call him the King. He died for us, he redeemed us, and he reunited us with God. The Word made flesh, the light from light, a cry that pierced our endless noise, a child to speak into our pain, restoring unto us our joy. Thank you.